Hello viewers, welcome to my channel MathCom. Today I will be doing a problem on projection of lines which you will be having in your engineering graphic subject. So come on, let's start. So I am doing it in the SolidWorks software. So here is our problem. Line AB is 75 mm long and it is 30 degree and 40 degree inclined to the HP and VP respectively. End A is 12 mm above HP and 10 mm in front of VP. Draw projections. Line is in the first quadrant. So this is the XY line. This is HP, VP. This is the basic thing that you have to draw, uh, draw for every single problem. So now first let's uh, analyze the question. So the length of, that is the true length of the line given is 75 millimeter. And it's uh, inclination with HP and VP is 30 degree and 40 degree. What about the height of HP? I mean A is 12 mm above HP and the same point A is 10 mm in front of VP. So first let's plot the point A. So let's take up the line tool. It's better to take midpoint line because it's good if we, have, we know the center point. It's good if we have it equally raised at both the sides. Am I right? Yeah. One second. You should get that straight line for, like see when I draw a line, you get the yellow color stuff. That shows that the line that you're drawing is straight. Okay, you have to check over it, sorry. So I take a midpoint line, draw it. The yellow color stuff is coming. So I make sure the line is straight. Now, uh, the end is 12 mm above HP. So we'll first draw two lines. It need not be a midpoint. It did. It need not be a midpoint line. It's a normal one. Oh no! Again, it's gone. Sorry. Now we can take the normal line and draw it both above and below. This also should be straight. And the distance of this line from x, y, now we have to draw and 8, 12 mm above HP. So the distance between these two lines should be 12 mm. Take up smart dimension, select this line. Sorry, yeah. So I selected both, it should be 12. I got it, 12 mm line. Let's keep it here, yeah. Next, uh, the distance between, I mean, sorry, in the point A is 10 mm in front of V. So the distance between this one and this line should be 10 mm. Again, take up smart dimensioning. This should be 10 mm. So that whole line is moved there. It's okay. No. I got to know my mistake now. Hmm. I think I should select this first and then go to this. Okay. I forgot to take up smart times. So from here, it should be there. Try the same problem. We'll try the other way. Yeah. So we'll take up smart dimension. We'll select from here to downwards. This is 10 mm. Again, it's happening somewhere. It's okay. We'll shift the other stuff down. So I should have click this first. VP. HP, X, and Y. That's all we can do. Okay, so this is the point A dash. Since it's with respect to HP, we'll take it as A dash. 
and this is a not a dash it is a done so now we'll start with the line so the line is 75 mm long let's draw two lines from a dash and a which is shift length 75 mm okay we are using the line tool here uh, and then we'll draw a line from here and another line from here take up smart dimension so the length of this should be wow it's almost 75 but it should be perfectly 75 the length of this line should also be 75 this is the true length I have to mention this is the true length of the line sorry okay so now the angle that the line makes with the projections along horizontal and vertical line is 30 and 40 respectively so the angle between this line and this line should be 30 degree so let's do it first no. okay so this should be 30 degree make it 30 okay 30 degree and then the angle between the vertical projection and this line is 40 degree so now we have to make this angle 40 degrees make it 40 enter so let's take it a little close now the next thing is we have to draw a midpoint line from this point to this line and then the midpoint line from this point to this line to find our front view and top view. So let's do that now. I'm taking up a line from here. Make sure the line is straight. Don't forget on that point. It will be indicated by the yellow color symbol. So yeah, this is straight. Now, the next thing is we'll have to draw a line from this point to this point and then draw an arc okay so we'll draw a line from here to here it's straight and perpendicular now we'll take up arc so arc is from here we'll have to make an arc from here to here so this will be the front view now we'll have to draw a line which is perpendicular to the bottom line oh we didn't do that okay now this will be the top view so we have obtained our front view top view and this is the completion of our sum but still we have one last thing to be done that is the naming part so let's do that now so this is the True length, I'm sorry, it's going somewhere. True length. Here, this is a true length. And then here is the front view. Front view. Here is your top view. So this is the top view. And here, that's it. So we have to shift this true length to this. These Both these lines are the true length. And we have to name these points also. So I forgot about that, sorry. So this is the point B dash. Because it's in the horizontal protection. That's what we had been following so far. And this is B. This is b1 and this will be b1 dash done so we have drawn the projection of a line which is 75 mm long so this is the end of the video if you like my videos please do click on the like button if you have any queries please do comment 
please share my videos if you find it useful and subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos thanks for watching